hi guys welcome back to my channel today i'm showing you how i messed up my chicken pie recipe so let, let's get started and I'll show you what i done wrong so now i'm going to prepare the filling first it was fine everything was fine until the end so i'm gonna take one chicken fillet and i'm cutting the small slices like this I'm going to cut the rest the same size. And now we're going to take one pot and we're going to add the chicken in it. The one that we just, just cut into a small piece of nano. And then we're going to add water till it's completely covered. But we mustn't add so much. And salt according to your taste. And black pepper. Crushed. About a teaspoonful. And then we're going to cover it and let it boil for about 15 minutes. Or until it's completely cooked. So while it's boiling, we're going to prepare our puff pastry now. Just dose in some flour. And we're going to take our ready-made rolled puff pastry. And then I'm going to cut it into how much I want. I'm going to cut the extra off. So this is the extra. And then I'm going to roll it out a bit by adding some flour on top and then rolling it with my rolling pan. Because we want it to be thin, not so thick. So now we're going to take our pie pan and then this is the trick that will give you the proper round circle. So we're going to take our pie pan and we're going to put it upside down on the puff pastry and cut around it. We're gonna make two circles like this. So this is the one circle and I'm gonna take in the extra off. You can roll this out again and then prepare your other circle with it as well. See this is perfectly gonna fit in our pie pan. Otherwise you wouldn't know how much you must you take for it to fit in it. So everything was well at this point. So now I'm just going to put it in the pan and just give it a nice shape. Like a mold. So I spray the pan with just some non-stick spray so the pie doesn't stick to it and now I'm just going to shake it. So it takes the shape of the pan and this becomes molded. This is the sides first and then the middle. See it looks just like the pan. Then we're going to leave this aside and now we're going to bring back our chicken because it is done after 15 minutes. The chicken is completely cool at this point. So now I'm going to add in about half a teaspoon of red chili powder but you can add according to your taste. And then we are going to mash this until it becomes really finely mashed. And make sure like the chili powder is mixed well and it's not just in one place. See, it's really fine now. Then I'm going to add in bell peppers and onions. I just cut one small onion and one small bell pepper of two choice, two colors. And then I'm just going to mix it in them. And then three tablespoons of mayonnaise. And just a little bit of hot sauce you don't have to add this i just like to eat spicy food so i added a bit of hot sauce in it and then we're gonna mix it nicely and keep it aside and we're gonna bring our pie pan forward 
and then we're going to fold the filling in there so see everything was perfect at this point i knew i was what i was doing everything was perfect just the end i messed up so just with a spatula tap it on top and make sure it's spread evenly and then i'm going to add some mozzarella cheese or pizza cheese and all over And then we're going to take our second circle and then we're going to put that on top carefully yes and even though it doesn't fit at this point you take your fingers and you make sure it fits and closes on the sides otherwise the filling is going to come out where it will bakes and it won't be closed on the sides and now with the fork i'm just going to make this design this will also help it close on the sides and it won't open while it's baking just doing that and then just poking some holes in there so it can be cooked from the inside as well and then I'm gonna give it the egg wash just by spreading some egg on top with a brush you have to make sure it's all over so it doesn't help it give it that nice brown color on top and you'll give it a nice crusty taste And then we're going to add poppy seeds on top or you can add sesame seeds and then we're going to bake it so what happened was i baked it at a high temperature thinking it will get cooked nicely from the top but the problem was it was too high and it never get cooked from the inside so i'll just show you that it has a nice color from the outside but inside is still not cooked so everyone makes mistakes so i would suggest you cook it at very low to medium speed and increase it at the end for the nice color on top so every chef makes mistakes every channel makes mistakes and this was one of my recipes that went wrong so i just thought i would share with you so that you guys don't make the same mistakes so please do like share and subscribe see you guys next time